Hi everyone, something I get asked routinely is, what is the best way to handle a Lightroom to Photoshop and back to Lightroom round trip? So let's take a look. I'm in Lightroom and I have a raw file here. It's a Nikon NEF. And as you can see, if I jump over to develop must, there we go. We could see all the processing that's been done. And there's, looks like a tone curve has been added. So quite a bit have been done, including some healing and some retouching on this image and some local work. So now I'm in Lightroom, but I want to bring this image into Photoshop to fine tune a few details. So I could use the menus up top. Instead, I'm just going to right click and go edit in Photoshop. And that's going to take this image and it's going to throw it over to Photoshop in a second. And if I click on Photoshop, I should see it opening up here anytime oh, there we go and now we're in photoshop it happened so quick i almost didn't see it so let's make a change to this image something dramatically and we can see up here it is the raw file but now it's open in photoshop you know i think i'm going to do a conversion to black and white with a little tint now i happen to have a action that i've built for that so i'm just going to click my action and we can see here i now have the background layer I have a group with a tint in there and a few little adjustment. So let's say I like this. Now here's where things get really important. I want to have this saved automatically back in the Lightroom Classic. I don't want to have to save it, then re-import it. The key here is just to hit Command S or Save. You don't want to do a Save As or change the name because if you change the name, Lightroom lose track of it. So I'm going to hit Command S on my keyboard. So again, Command S. And you can see it says saving 26% at the top. It's a pretty good size file. So this might take a little bit. I could have shrunk the file down, but I did come from the raw file. It's picking up a little steam. So it's now saved. Let's jump back over to Lightroom. And you'll notice real quickly in Lightroom, this number 16 is grayed out, but there it is. And if I hit, I can see the name down here. I'm going to hit I on my keyboard and it should bring up, make sure I'm in Lightroom. There we go. It has the original name and now PSD where before this image was the raw file and now it's the PSD. What I don't want to do is start editing this again in Lightroom because this is no longer a raw file. Remember before it was NEF. Now it's a PSD and I can get myself in a lot of trouble. In fact, if we start looking at the adjustments, there's nothing there because this is not the original raw file. With all my adjustments, this is the PSD. So let's say I want to jump back over to Photoshop. Well, at this point, I can do my right click, edit in Photoshop, and we're going to get a dialogue. And this one can be a little bit confusing. The safest bet is, as I mentioned, don't make any adjustments in Lightroom on the raw file and you'll click Edit Original. I know it sounds a little funny, but it's the original PSD. And if we do that and I click Edit, Photoshop opens up and it just says I've updated something so we can just let it update. There we go. And there's all my adjustments, all my layers in there. And that's great. I'm just going to close it since I didn't do anything. I'm going to hit Don't Save. Jump back over to Lightroom. Now, if I make some adjustments, let's say I'm on this image and I decide, you know, I'm going to boost up the clarity. I'm going to go really far so it's obvious in there. And now I'm going to try to edit it. Edit in Photoshop. Okay, I've still got my options here. Edit Original. Edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustments. So if I click Edit Original, we'll just take a look what happens. And we always have to wait a brief second. You'll notice I don't have any of those clarity adjustments that I just made. So I'm going to close that, go back over to Lightroom. I'm going to do that same Edit in Photoshop. And this time, edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustments. And that opens up in Photoshop. But look what's happened to my layers. I don't have any of my layers. I can't undo the conversion that I did and the adjustment to black and white. It flattened it. So let's just close this guy. I'm going to hit Don't Save. Jump back over to Lightroom here. I'm going to put my clarity back to zero. So as you can see, 
Once I've turned this into a PSD, I should be done with Lightroom completely at that point. I should just say, hey, I've done all my Lightroom adjustments on my raw file and I'm just gonna use it the round trip as a holding spot so I know where this file is. Once it's a PSD, I would stay away from any of the adjustments in Lightroom. They're really designed for raw file adjustments. But again, I can just right click, edit in Photoshop, edit original is generally what we're gonna want. And now we're back in Photoshop and I'm gonna have my image here. I can turn this off. I have my color. If I save this, so let's do something a little different. We're gonna do something crazy again. Nothing that we really wanna have happen, but I'm gonna do a real strong contrast. I'm gonna hit Command S. It's saving it. We can see up top here, 27%. Way down here at the bottom, it's telling me also. So we're just gonna let this go ahead and do its adjustments here. It's like, okay. So now we'll jump back over to Lightroom and you can see this has now been updated but i don't really like that so edit in photoshop original i'm going to turn that off turn that back on hit command s for save and you can understand where we're going here this is going to go right back in the lightroom with the black and white adjustment layer and the tint that i created that's inside of this group back over to lightroom and that's our workflow so kind of as a quick recap we start with our raw file. We can see it's an NEF, it is a virtual copy. Make our adjustments, use the edit into Photoshop. I do the adjustments, don't change the name, just hit Command S. It will automatically re-import it and that's the round trip. Hope you enjoyed the video.